Hello artists, I'm so glad you're here. Now turn your craft dial to 11, cause it's time for Faces. Our brains love faces. That's why we see them so often in the things around us. It only takes two dots and a line for our brains to see a face. But there's a lot more to faces than that. What else do we need? How about a nose? And some ears? We need lips and eyelashes and some eyebrows and eyelids and hair and teeth. There's a lot of stuff and everyone is a bit different. For today's lesson, you're gonna need a pencil and some paper. First, start with a big shape. We often draw small, but for this project, it will help to start big. Now divide the shape in half, like so. Our eyes are going to be centered on this line, half above, half below. When drawing eyes, don't forget the eyelids and lashes. Just above the eyes, we will add the eyebrows. They start above the corner of our eye and end a little past it. Now let's look at the bottom part of our face. We are going to divide this space into three spaces like so. The bottom of the nose sits on this line and then goes all the way up between our eyes, almost to our eyebrows. We have a large bump in the middle and two smaller bumps or nostrils on the side. Next, we'll look at the mouth. This line will divide our mouth with the upper lip above and the lower lip below. And right between our nose and our mouth is this fun little shape. Okay, we're doing pretty good. Let's bring it home. Our ears start at the eye line and end around the nose line. Now we can add extras like freckles, moles, birthmarks, scars. An excellent way to practice drawing faces is to look at your face in the mirror or ask a friend or family member to sit for you. Our friends, we totally did it. Game. All right, Sally, are you ready for the squiggle game? Excellent. Game.